Hey, KJ, uh, what, what's your, uh, I guess, feelings about going back and playing your home state this week? Uh, I'm feeling pumped, uh, very excited. Uh, I got a lot of uh, family members coming to the game to watch me play. Uh, they've never been to a game. I'm feeling uh, pretty pumped and excited that they can uh, be able to make it and come see me play. Did Ole Miss uh, recruit you, and do you have any idea how many family members will be there? Uh, yes, Ole Miss did recruit me. Uh, as far as family members, uh, it's a lot. As I like to say, it's a lot. Did, did you give much thought to Ole Miss, or was Arkansas or kind of how, how that worked? Uh, I didn't really think that much on Ole Miss uh, just because I wanted to get out of the state of Mississippi. But uh, Arkansas just took it away. Mm. Okay, I, I got a couple more, but I'll uh, turn it back over to Oliver. Thank you. Trey? Yeah, KJ, I was curious what you see out of the Ole Miss defense. Uh, I know, like, structurally, they do kind of a lot of the same things that uh, that Arkansas's defense does. What, what do you see out of those guys? Who stands out? Uh, uh, Ole Miss defense, uh, they're pretty solid this year. Uh, they made some adjustments, field adjustments on the uh, first defense, though they went and got some guys out of the port. Uh, they pretty really good. Uh, they do really good stuff on defense. Uh, they do the drop and stuff like our defense. So the main thing is just uh, being disciplined and not being too greedy, uh, but also being aggressive and just uh, take the ball down when I have to. And Montero, uh, we always say Matt Corral, but what are your thoughts on him? What what makes him quarterback? He's doing anything different than he did last year because he doesn't have any interceptions this year. Uh, he's a good good quarterback. Um, I didn't get to compete with him last year, but he's a good quarterback. You know, he got a good receiver. It's, it's good offense, so he gets the ball to his receivers and he does what he has to do. Thanks, guys. Nate. Yeah, I guess for both, we'll start with KJ. But just what have y'all have they done in practice trying to eliminate the penalties that have, that have hurt you so much? Uh, we, uh, I know, as far as the uh, offense standpoint, uh, from an O line standpoint, they've stayed out of practice and uh, got beside the speakers and stuff, and did a lot of uh, loud music and just uh, emulating uh, the crowd noise. I know it would be a very hostile environment down there, Oxford, Mississippi. So that's the main thing for us: eliminate penalties up front and. Outside on the perimeter, uh, I know guys are staying out there, uh, working their hands inside, driving their feet, knowing when to let go so they won't get holding calls on the perimeter. That's all I know from an uh, offense, offensive standpoint. Montero, I about defense because y'all had your share on uh, penalties also. Yeah, just staying disciplined, you know, just watching the ball, staying disciplined, and just being physical up front. Thank you. Scotty? Hey, KJ, there's going to be several of the best receivers in the league on the field this weekend when either offense takes the field. Uh, I guess just on your side, just your thoughts on, on trailing season and, you know, his importance in this game and trying to help you guys bounce back. Uh, trailing, uh, his presence in this game is going to be really big. Uh, I mean, just like it is in every game. I mean, we ACC play now. So knowing that uh, we play ACC ball now, his uh, presence is going to be uh, pretty big. And just the things that he can do on the field to uh, get other guys up and knowing that trailing is a big target. And he creates a lot of separation. So, uh, Ole Miss defense might double down on him in some uh, coverage that they run. So just get the other guys uh, uh, an opportunity as far as one-on-one matchups and stuff and just taking advantage of those. And then, Buster, what jumps out to you about Ole Miss's group of receivers and you know, what's it going to take to maybe slow them down, limit them a little bit? You no, know, um, they like to throw the deep ball, so just eliminating their, their key players and, you know, just eliminating what they like to do. So they like to throw the deep ball, so we got to eliminate that. Any thoughts on Drummond? It seems like he's had a pretty good year to this point. Uh, he's a he's a pretty good receiver. Like it's the SEC, so he's a pretty good receiver. I can say. Coach Monteric, you said that you didn't get a chance to compete last year. Was this one of the games that you were you were out with an injury? Yeah, I had a concussion last year. Gotcha. So what was that like? You'll watch it. I'm assuming you got to watch it still. What was it like watching all your teammates come down with, with six interceptions? Were you a little bit disappointed that you weren't get, weren't able to be a part of that? No, I was very excited, man. Just seeing um, Heston Clark just step up and just get those three picks last year, man. It was excited to watch. And KJ, what's kind of the mindset of the team after, you know, the Georgia game? I mean, I know Coach Pittman has said a lot about not letting Georgia beat you twice. I mean, how are y'all bouncing back uh, from that? Uh, just putting Georgia behind us and moving forward with uh, all our main focus on Ole Miss and what they're doing defensively and knowing that they're a good program, just like uh, also Georgia was a great program. And just getting Georgia out of our uh, bad test out of our mouth and just putting them in the past and moving forward. Tom? 
Yeah, Busta, the importance of this game against Ole Miss, you know, both of you guys have second-year coaches, and people were thinking a lot of y'all after your great starts. Just how important is this game for you guys? Man, it, it's very important, man. It's, it's, it's going to come down who who want it more. So it's very important, man, like every game. So it's very important. And, and what, what differences are you expecting to see from Ole Miss in terms of uh, it looked like Corral was looking down receivers last year and stuff. What, what do you expect to see out of out of them different from last year's game? Uh, I didn't play last year, so I can't really speak on that. Uh, well, I, I just mean that, you know, in studying for them, uh, does it look like they've tried, you know, different things against zone defense? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, they're going to try to hold shots, you know, they're going to take whatever they need to. They need to throw the check down. They're going to do that. So they're going to get whatever they need to. Trey? Yeah, just for both of you guys, um, playing on the road for the first time, I guess, you know, in front of so many fans, especially for you, KJ, um, and playing an 11 o'clock game, what can you take from, from the last game? Because you do have to take some stuff from Georgia, but what can you take from the last game in terms of your preparation for the eleven o'clock game, traveling, all that stuff, uh, to this one, and, and what might you do differently? Uh, the main thing is just uh, getting my, getting into the uh, offensive line here early, just uh, settle down. We know it's going to be loud. We know it's going to be a hostile environment. So just getting those guys to settle down, get settled in quickly as possible, and just make sure they make their calls and just uh, do the little details right. And just main thing, just communicate up front. That's the main thing. I just tell them. Uh, and the thing I do differently, I say, is um, more preparation on just the environment and uh, atmosphere, knowing what I'm going into. Uh, Georgia being the first road game, truly first road game, and it kind of caught me off guard a little bit. But I was, I just want to just be more prepared this uh, this go around. What's your thoughts on that, Monteric? Uh, def- from a defensive standpoint, we want to start fast, start getting three and outs. You know, get comfortable. You know, um, as um, as talking for the defense, like we like our backs against the wall. So I, I just feel comfortable on the road and you know, um, just getting focused on three and outs and um, getting a stop. Come back around, Bob. Yeah, uh, KJ, you, I know last week was a tough game for everybody, but I, you think you've had a, a pretty outstanding season. How, how would you assess your play so far just all around as, as a quarterback? Um, continue to mature in uh, areas that I need to be maturing and continue growing for his leadership skills, talking more on the sideline, uh, from the little details such as body language and stuff like that. So I'm just – the main thing, I'm not trying to get too far ahead of myself. I'm just taking it day by day, game by game, play by play. As far as you know, you may have hit a lot of big passes, made a lot of big runs. How do you feel about your, your production, I guess? I uh, just start my teammates. Uh, just That's all I mean. My teammates O-line creating lines for me to uh, run through just like the other guys. And down the field as far as uh, receivers, just giving them a chance to make a play and, just going up, making plays down the field. So I just give it out to my teammates. And Monterey, you obviously faced KJ a lot in camp. And just um, the, those DBs on other teams don't seem real anxious to try to tackle him. Uh, what, what, what's your take on, uh, you know, the season KJ's had and what he's meant to you guys? Man, he's 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 not satisfied, man. He's having a great season, man. He's taking it day by day, step by step. And I'm happy for him. I mean, as long as he's grinding, I mean, he's grinding every day. So I'm happy for him, man. I'm a um, roof on. Well, what has he done that's most impressed you? Man, uh, just him, just watching him, he reminds me a lot of Cam Newton, just running the ball, man, just trucking. Like, he's not looking out. He's not looking to get out of bounds, man. He He's going to take you head on. So that's why I really like to see out of KJ. And KJ, one last thing. I've heard Coach Pittman on the radio a couple of times say you're 255. I think he must mean 245. And yeah. I'm guessing you're a little lighter. Would you mind saying what your weight is right now? No, I'm at 245, solid. Okay. Well, like I said, I bet those DPs don't like that very much. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Nate? You know, Ontario, people talk about it, you know, the passing game in Ole Miss. What about the running game? You know, how big a, big a threat is that to you all? It's, it's the same threat as the passing game, man. We got to stop the run and stop the pass. So it's a, we train them the same as the pass, man. We got to stop everything they do. Thank you. Scotty, anything else? I'm good, thanks. Tom? Yeah, KJ, when you see Matt Corral on TV, maybe watched him in last year's game, what, you, what impresses you about Matt Corral? 
uh, just his knowledge uh, knowledge of the game, and he's uh, played in played in a lot more SEC games than I have. So him just the experience and him just being a vet in the SEC, just playing the different big games. Uh, that's just the main thing that stick out to me. And uh, also just how you get the ball out quick. He, uh, that's just the main thing for us. I just see a, a Matt. And what do you think about the magnitude of the game for you guys? You know, a win, you know, you're undefeated against SEC West teams and things like that. Uh, like I like Buster said earlier, I mean, every game is a big game to us. Uh, we know it's SEC play. So, of course, in this league, every game is big. So, as we just treat it as every game is a big game and just attack it that way. Hodge? Yeah, KJ, uh, how, how's the knee doing? Is it still bothering you at all, or, or are you good? No, I'm good. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to go. We're back and better than ever. All eyes are on the gridiron as teams are back for another football season. As always, Bet Online is your number one spot for all the pro and college football action this season. With the new updated site and interface, even more odds, props, and contests, Bet Online continues to be the number one source for everything football. Head to your website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Don't forget to use our promo code BELIEVE to receive your bonus. That's B-L-E-A-V. From football, basketball, boxing, right to your favorite Vegas casino games. Don't wait to take advantage of these amazing offers for the 2021 season. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports. Bet online, where the game starts.